It was about 11.20 at night. We came to the theater. My friend purchased tickets in advance, and um, we got our tickets, and it was in Theater 9. And so we came pretty late, and it was about, I mean, 11.30 by the time we got in there. So we had limited choices of where to sit, and the only three rows um, were the front three rows. So we sat in the third row to the front, right in the middle. And um, about 10, 15 minutes into the movie, uh, the shooter opened the exit door in front of the theater and walked in wearing a gas mask, uh, a bunch of armor, and bulletproof um, leggings. And um, he threw two gas canisters that hissed. Uh, he threw one to the back and one to the right side. And, um, and then he started opening fire with a shotgun. And uh, he started shooting towards the back and hitting people in the back. And so immediately we knew that we had to get out of there. So I told everybody to duck down, and we all got down. And um, we started, and when we heard it was safe and we heard his gun reloading, we uh, crawled out and then sprinted, sprinted out of there. And as we were sprinting, he took a shot at me, and it whizzed by my head, probably about an inch or so by my head. And I hit the drywall, and the drywall kind of got me in the face. And then we ran to our cars and got out of there pretty fast. As soon as I saw him walk in, I was suspicious about the whole thing. I knew that it was a Batman movie and that people were dressed like that. And maybe it was a publicity stunt, but I, I was pretty suspicious about the whole thing all the way through. And as soon as he threw the gas canister, I knew this was an emergency. I heard this phrase in one of the books. It, um, it says, only one life will soon be passed, but only what's done for Christ will last. And it showed me that everything that I've accomplished in this life, like whether it's athletics, um, making friends, what I've done, it doesn't matter. It's all petty things compared to Christ and that the only thing that matters at the end of the day, if that bullet hit me, is what I did for him. At Judgment Day, it doesn't matter. All those things are their vanity compared to that. It does change a lot of things. It changes my mindset. Um, Philippians 121, for me to live is Christ, to die is gain. And so um, now with this life that I'm given, I want it to be about Christ. I want that it's not about me anymore. It's not about getting personal glory to myself. It's got to be about Christ. And so just to have to know that he's with me, I'm going to give it everything I have to, to glorify him in the end, and that's all that matters. You never know when your, your time is, when God's calling you home, and it can come even at an entertainment event. It can come at any time that place that you think is a refuge may be in danger. And so I, I would say that you can't put off Christ. You have to have him in your life every second of the day, and that each day is a gift to live for him. It's not a wage, it's not something that he owes you. So I would say with that, just glorify him in everything you do each day.